Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the blower motor in your furnace, first turn off the power to the furnace. Use a flathead screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the upper access panel, and remove the panel. Next, unthread the screws to release the lower access panel. Release the spring clamps securing the drain trap hoses to the collection box and exhaust pipe and pull the hoses free. Remove the drain hose as well. Next, remove the screws securing the drain trap mounting bracket. Remove the drain trap assembly. Note the orientation of the thermostat wires connected to the control board, then loosen the screws to disconnect them. Cut the zip tie securing the wire harnesses. Now unthread the screws securing the blower assembly support rails. Carefully slide the assembly out. Use an adjustable wrench to loosen the blower wheel set screw. Now set the blower assembly on its side. Note the orientation of the motor wires connected to the control board then disconnect them. To ensure the run capacitor is discharged, place a screwdriver with an insulated handle across the terminals. Now disconnect the capacitor wires. and remove the screw to release the grounding wire. Note the orientation of the blower motor, then use a 3 8 inch socket to unthread the motor bracket mounting screws. Lift off the old motor and bracket assembly. This may require some effort. Cut the zip tie securing the wires to the support arm. Note the position of the bracket in relation to the wires and measure the distance between the bracket and the shaft end of the motor. Secure the nut with a wrench and use a 7 16 inch socket to loosen the bolt to release the old motor from the bracket assembly. Remove the support arms and slide off the bracket. Before you install the new blower motor, confirm that the motor's capacitor rating matches the existing run capacitor. If not, you will need to replace the capacitor with the required one. Insert the motor into the mounting bracket. Align the motor wires with the hole in the bracket and insert the support arms.
Make sure the shaft end of the motor is the correct distance from the bracket. Then tighten the nut and bolt to secure. Now insert the shaft of the new motor into the blower wheel as you position the support arms on the housing. Rethread and tighten the mounting screws. Secure the wires to the support arm with a zip tie. Connect the motor wires to the appropriate terminals on the control board. Connect the run capacitor wires as well. Secure the grounding wire. Return the blower assembly to its upright position. Center the blower wheel in the housing. Align the set screw with the flat side of the motor shaft and tighten the set screw. Now realign the blower assembly support rails on the slides and push the assembly into place. Rethread the screws to secure. Reconnect the thermostat wires. Use a zip tie to remove any slack in the wire harnesses. Reposition the drain trap assembly in the cabinet. And rethread the screws to secure the mounting bracket. Reattach the hoses to the appropriate ports on the collection box and exhaust pipe. Secure with the clamps as necessary. Reattach the drain hose as well. Realign the lower access panel and rethread the screws. Realign the upper access panel and secure it with the screws. With the repair completed, turn the power supply back on and your furnace should be ready for use.